Hey everybody, Ryan here. Uh, today I'm going to be brewing some beer. Um, I had a bunch of specialty grains that were, well, some were getting really old and some I just hadn't used in a while. So I thought, you know what, let's just throw them all together and see what happens. Um, I'm going to be using two row as my base malt and uh, let's just go through each grain and put a recipe together. So. I think I'm probably going to start off, and I'm not going to measure this out first, but I'm going to use nine pounds of two row. And I'm writing all this down, what we put in here. Um, that way I can actually put it into Brewfather and we can kind of figure out what the recipe is going to be. So I have my scale here. This is just a shipping scale I got on Amazon. Um, it works okay for uh, these five gallon pails from that I got at Menards. Oh. Apparently carried something down in it. More grains. Okay, so the pail. Really, if I had a smaller container than this, it would be even better. I'm wondering if I could actually hold enough in here. But anyway, I'm gonna have to measure out nine pounds of grain anyway. So, and there's water in there. I don't really wanna get that wet. So I need to work on finding a better container to measure grain in, but this will work for now. This is what I've always done. So uh, first thing we got, um, let's see, some Caramel 10. Uh, this was a pack in it's mailer, uh, mailer malts. Uh, I don't know if Northern Brewer still has this brand on their grains. Uh, this is from July of 2016, so it's four, over four years old. So I'm going to write this down. I don't actually... I think there's about half a pound in here. I can't remember. Where, I think I used this for my amber ale, maybe. Um, now I got some Crystal Caramel 20 from 2016. It's uh, about two weeks newer than the Crystal 10. Just... That's about the same stage as Crystal 10, but... Breeze Chocolate Malt. This is from last year, so it's not as bad. It's September of last year, so almost a year old. What the heck, right? Let's throw it in. Also, I will be using, and I don't know what the measurements will be just yet, but I will be using uh, Centennial and Santium hops. All right, Chocolate Malt, 10 ounces. Uh, Carapils. This, I don't know when this one is from. Rar White Wheat. And the last one is uh, from Care Munich 3. We're still in range for an American Porter. We're on the high side of the ABV though. And yeah, I was going to use two pounds of two row, or two. Nine pounds of two row. And Brewfather says we're 91% match for an American Porter. Uh, and that's section 20A and BJCP for 2015.
right, so we have our grains milled, and I have actually put them in the mash tun. Well, I mean in the grain father. <laughs> so they are mashing right now at 152 degrees. Um, so I've been in there for about 22 minutes, and the wort is actually kind of clearing up. It's still, it's really dark, so I can't really see through it, but it's not cloudy like the uh, last beer that I did. Um, which I don't, I didn't do a video on that, so you guys don't know much about that one. But um, we're going to measure out the hops. Uh, we're going to use half ounce of Centennial for bittering, an ounce of Santium at 15 minutes, and an ounce of Santium at five minutes. And me being the classy guy that I am, I'm going to use these little bowls that um, are meant for babies that have stuck to the table or their high chair tray so I need to get some better bowls to weigh with but this is what I got so I'm going to use it all right so take this one we'll do I'm gonna put the half ounce in the smaller bowl because for some reason one of these is smaller I bought uh, centennial hops and cyanium hops in one pound packages from morebeer.com they were on sale apparently more beer has hop sales every week so if you need to buy in bulk, go check out, check them out and see if what they have is uh, what you need. There's what is, um, see if what you want is on sale, I guess. So half ounce. These hops probably don't really go together, but since it's for bittering, I'm not too concerned. Come on. A little too much. Okay, five point five zero five. We'll go with it. Let's try to get this sealed up. I keep my hops in the freezer. Hope, hoping that they will last longer that way. Okay, so I wish I had a marker, but since it's, it's the smaller bowl, I'll know that it's um, the uh, Centennial Edition. Now this one is vacuum sealed and has a zipper on it, but I'm afraid when I open this, it's kind of, the hops are gonna, oh wow. There we go. That was barely opening it. <laughs> okay. So this is a Santium hop. These are normally used for aroma. I guess they can be used for flavor, which is what we're using them for, but... Oops. Damn it. Okay. We'll... There. We'll do this. Forgot to set that on there. Tear it. Okay. All right. This needs one ounce here. Oops. Hops away. Also, whenever I mention any sort of brewery on here, or uh, homebrew supplier, I should say, well, any company in general, I'm not being paid by them. I'm just giving you a resource to go to. All right, one ounce exactly. Okay. Now, this will be the 15-minute edition, so I'm going to put a Whirlflock Lock tablet in there, and so it can go in at the same time. Also, I have a hop spider sort of thing thing um, to filter the beer when I'm brewing so that way it, the hops don't stay in the, the kettle or the grandfather in this case I'm not going to use it today oh shoot kind of manhandled this so now it's there we go. A little too much.
what people are allegedly saying right now. But because of COVID, it's a non-violent uh, offense. Michael Cohen is walking, not walking free, but Michael Cohen is serving his time at home. I've seen her lawyers making some sort of, of plea for, yes, she will accept this time, or they will accept this time, but can we defer it to them serving their time at home? And don't be surprised if that happens, I feel like. Interesting. Uh, ignore the dirty dishes, but I have my uh, pre-chiller hooked up and it's just in a bucket of ice and when, uh, Then I have the uh, counter flow chiller from the uh, grandfather hooked up to that Probably need to get that out there And right now we are circulating uh, Hot work through the counter flow chiller to sanitize it Do that for about one more minute or so Do a total of five minutes and then we'll uh shut off the pump and uh, lower the flow on the counter chiller and then we'll uh, put it in our carboy here well, the uh, for monster
And all right, guys, it's another brew in the books. Uh, if you like watching the video, please remember to like and subscribe and hit the little bell so you know the next time I post a video. Uh, hopefully, a few weeks, we'll be tasting this on a homebrew Wednesday, and uh, I guess I'm going to just let you go. Cheers.